So the question I have for this video is, does training jujitsu and Muay Thai or kickboxing or even boxing, any of those combat sports or martial arts uh, training that I consider to be high level as far as intensity uh, and mental stress and so forth, do training in any of those martial arts increase our testosterone? So let's start with the first question I had that I thought would kind of get me to an answer here. And the first question is, how does stress affect our testosterone levels? Now what I found was it has been proposed that initial stages of stress response could be accompanied by an increase in testosterone release. This is based on the pattern that lower levels of stress can lead to increased levels of testosterone in men up to a certain threshold. This is characterized by having positive association. But reduced levels of testosterone can be observed by high levels of stress with a subsequent leveling off. So it's important to remember that although it's proposed that the initial stress levels or low stress levels that are um, associated with positive association can increase testosterone, research evidence has suggested that testosterone levels are reduced in response to high stress. For example, low levels of serum testosterone have been reported during psychological stress, physical stress, and actual stress such as surgery. When you experience high stress, cortisol increases, which slows your body's ability to make testosterone. So then my next question was, how does the aggression associated and needed for these types of martial arts training affect testosterone? Now when I talk about aggression, I'm of the mindset where what I tell my students is focused aggression. I don't mean like outright anger or like full blown anger. Um, you know, you, some people think they need that. I, I don't believe in that. I believe in aggression, but I believe in focused aggression. I don't, I don't need a bunch of angry guys just running around my classes or my gym. It's, it's not that kind of party. High testosterone levels or an increase in basal concentrations are associated with aggressive manifestations, whereas high cortisol concentrations are linked to submissive behavior. When we get aggressive, the heart rate, arterial tension, and testosterone production increases. Cortisol, the stress hormone, decreases. So, aggressive manifestations, aggression while training is good. So my final thing, of course, so we we're, you know, we're looking at the stress that comes with it, and then we look at the aggression necessary to get like good training. Then we get to the overarching like uh, general question, how does exercise in general uh, affect testosterone? Exercise will boost testosterone, though certain types of exercise increase testosterone more than others. Endurance training and resistance training, such as weightlifting, uh, both boost testosterone levels briefly. Remember that word, briefly. Your testosterone levels rise after exercise, especially intense, heavy strength training. This increase in levels may last just 15 minutes or up to an hour. It has been proven that intense exercise, such as high interval training, or boxing, kickboxing, Muay Thai, stuff like that, or fight training, actually increases testosterone output. This can be attributed to the high intensity interval training nature of these training modalities. So we talk about these potential uh, means of increasing testosterone, and we've briefly touched on some of the things that may decrease testosterone. So let's talk about what can cause a decrease in testosterone. This is a very simple answer, it should be widely known. You know, what can decrease your testosterone? Excess weight, uh, I didn't know about this, but hair loss uh, treatments, and of course, a sedentary lifestyle. These are among the factors that can lower testosterone levels. If you're concerned about low testosterone levels, take a look at your everyday habits and your overall way of life. You know, all around guys, it is recommended that you stay active with strength training and endurance training to ensure a healthy testosterone level. So in the end, did I get the answer I was looking for and can I provide that to you? In my conclusion here, at the most basic level, we need to stay active with both strength and endurance training and it appears a degree of aggression in our training seems to be of benefit. Low levels of stress may help a bit uh, but can be a hindrance if it becomes too stressful. None of this guarantees a consistent rise or lasting increase in testosterone. As studies show, levels start going back down a while after training. So we don't know how much it really helps, guys, but it certainly doesn't hurt. At the very least, you're active and strong in mind, body, 
and spirit, which can only be of benefit given what we know. So here's my disclaimer. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a medical professional, I'm a trainer. I'm an athlete, I'm a martial artist. I was curious about this question myself, so I looked up um, this stuff on Google and I just compiled a lot of the information that I found to try to draw my own conclusion, my own opinion. And that is what this video is. This is my opinion based on the things that I looked up and found. I urge you to do your own research if you do not uh, agree it is okay again these are the things that I came across during my researching for this video which drew my conclusion again which is my direct opinion when it comes to training in these martial arts guys I do it because I love it it's a passion of mine I could care less if it does anything for my testosterone I was just curious if there's benefits great I'm just getting more out of it but it is not a factor um, as to why I train but I put it out there because anything that I can put out that may push, nudge someone a little closer to trying this type of training and getting into martial arts, specifically jujitsu or Muay Thai, I'm all for it. I'm all for it, kind of just putting things out that to just, to just boast the positive benefits of these types of training. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. As always, please be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll keep this thing going. And I'll see you in the next video.